I presume this letter belongs to one of you. Please figure it out for yourselves. Who's the kid? All right, guys, we are back with Traumarai. Um, I think I got the graphics fixed a little bit. Um, basically, as I explained in the last video, RPG Maker games, they come in a really small 4x3 window box that you can't make any bigger. Um, so whenever I made the window bigger to obviously put it on this overlay, it made everything look kind of blurry. Uh, I, I tried to play around with things. I know this isn't a perfect solution. It still looks so much better uh, whenever I see the actual window, but I sharpened the image a little bit uh, just so it looks a little nicer. Definitely go check out the game though, man. Just look in the description of the video and look at the actual art, please. I need you to just appreciate how good it is. I can't do it justice because of having to resize the like game window. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, anyways, I'll, I'll stop talking. We'll get we'll get back to the game. All right. Uh, here, let me minimize this and let's go. All right. Let me see how it looks in game. Uh, see, it's still it's still pixelated. Rest in peace, man. I don't I don't even know what to do. That sucks, though. I want you guys to see how awesome this art is. Alright, let's go talk to the two girls that were, like, over here. See if I can talk to them yet. So you're saying it was my fault? Well, it certainly was no mistake. Huh. <laughs> the only mistake here is the fact that you were even born. I agree. At least I wouldn't have to spend the rest of my afterlife staring at your miserable excuse of a face. I'd hate to interrupt them since this is exactly the level of pettiness that I adore, but... Excuse me, but do you know where I'd be able to find a mirror? As entertaining as this has all been, I have more important matters to tend to. I presume this letter belongs to one of you. Please figure it out for yourselves. Who's the kid? Temporary truce? You two have come to terms, I see. Yes, we found someone we hate even more than each other. I can't say I didn't deserve this. And this is the happiest day of my life. Okay. <laughs> upon leaving, a small metallic object can be seen perched tranquilly upon the smooth tile floor. The object happens to be a bronze key with an ornately decorative skull as its defining feature. How gaudy. This might be theirs, however. But they left. I suppose I'll keep it in their stead. Man, I love the art. I really wish I could, like, do it justice for y'all. But it's just... The scaling of the window is not working very well. Enter the gallery, yes. Can we do anything else in here now? Oh wait, we had the key. It's probably for this. A simple portrait of a door. There appears to be a series of thin cracks behind the peculiar painting. How odd. Ahem. <clears throat> Sorry. It's a shame I'm too short to reach it. Well, buddy, you gotta figure it out. Oh, wait! Can we use, like, a stepping stone? A fluffy red cushion. Take the cushion? Yes, this should do. But say, I was like, we better be able to get up there. What a peculiar portrait. I mean, who would actively choose to paint a door? What a dull choice. But this lock seems... lifelike. Use the key. <clears throat> well, this doesn't look warm and inviting. I should have stayed home. Pretty. Though having a chapel inside of a train seems a tad excessive, and physically impossible. Hmm. Interesting. Man, there's so much detail. I have to go back to my recording server. Man, the detail and like quality is lost. Oh, that's ho that sucks, man. This is be this game is beautiful. 
a plain vase. Oh. Uh oh. I was holding shift to run and I didn't see what that said. Fuck. Why did I just think of her now? Shit, so I, I skipped the dialogue somewhere. Uh oh. Hopefully that doesn't come back to bite me. I swear, these candles are just fire hazards waiting to happen. Okay, well let's look at the mirror. An intricately wrought mirror. A faint pale light appears to be emanating from it. Inspect the mirror? Yes. Creepy. I really do detest mirrors. In retrospect, this was not my best idea, but I've already made it this far. It's too late to turn back now. Ah, oh, well, well, well. I didn't think you'd actually give me a call. Lila, age unknown. Height, 167. She's around my height. Stargazing, Rosemary Tea, cats. I like cats, too. Dislikes forests, liars, and being alone. For certain unknown reasons, Lila has no choice but to reside in mirrors. She claims her head will fall off if the bow wrapped around her neck is removed. Interesting. Sorry, Miss Witch. Enough with the formalities already, dear. We've known each other for, what, centuries? Apologies again, Lila. It's no excuse, but old habits are hard to overcome. You don't have to apologize for everything. You know that, right? Sorry. I... <sighs> Apology forgiven. You remind me so much of her. What did you say, dear? I didn't quite catch that. Oh, you can ignore me. I was just reminiscing. It wasn't anything of important. Alright, dearie. Please don't hesitate to call anytime you need me. Of course. Thank you. You really are too kind for your own good, Lila. It's nice of you to think so, Noelle. Anyway, have you made any friends yet? No, not at all. Who needs friends when I can make enemies? Alright, alright. Did you at least find that mystery girl you were telling me about? You mean Miss Annabelle? Unfortunately, I have not. Well, hurry up, my dear. We're not getting any younger. Death may not be an issue for you, but it could be good e to exercise a bit of caution. I... <clears throat> Again? What's wrong, kiddo? N nothing. I... I must take my leave, Lila. I'll catch up with you later. Stay safe now, dearie. Interesting. Perhaps it was merely my mind playing tricks on me. Hmm. I don't know, buddy old pal. Okay, well, where do we go from here? Do we leave? <clears throat> Sorry, I'm like choking. <laughs> Let me take a drink of water real quick. I'm having a really bad allergies. Ugh. A small corner of the mirror is fractured. Received a mirror shard. Alright. Where am I? And where's that incessant racket coming from? I can barely hear myself think. I don't understand anything at all. This day has been completely beyond my control. This sound, however... Didn't Grandmother play something like this on her gramophone? I wonder how she's doing now. Hello? I hear someone speaking. Can you let me out? Will you kill me if I do? What? No! Please just let me out. I'm trapped in the storage closet. Damn it. Still worth a shot, however. Fine, I've got nothing better to do anyway. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Alright, let's save since we're at a new area. I don't know if there's gonna be much dying or anything in this game, so I just wanna be safe, you know? You never know. I'm assuming she's in here. How did this even happen? I don't want to talk about it. Sir, are you okay? If you're dead, don't say anything. I think I just killed a man. Lila's definitely not going to be happy about this. 
Thank you so much. I've been trapped in there for ages. I was looking in a mirror, and next thing I know, I was locked in there. Is that so? Oh, where are my manners? I'm Rue Diedrich. It's very nice to meet you. Likewise. Farewell, mister. Wait, wait, wait. I can't let you leave in good conscience. It's not safe for a mere child to wander around here alone, after all. You clearly need a lot more help here than me. I'll manage. Oh, who am I kidding? There are no other doors here that I know of. We'll die in this room. That sounds like a great plan to me. Rue Diedrich, age 18, 168 centimeters, likes libraries, machinery, antiques, and history, dislikes loud noises, knives, and dark places. Rue's family specialize in gun and weapons manufacturing. Much to their displeasure, he would rather spend his days exploring the woods on the outskirts of town. Interesting. Alright, well, looks like we got a, got a friend note now. Well, I am going to go ahead and cut off this episode here. We're getting to be about time. But if you are interested in this, invested in the story, might I say, definitely make sure to check things out on the next upload. Uh, we'll delve a little deeper into the story and it's going to be a lot of fun. So I can't wait to see you guys there. Until next time, bye-bye.